Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Silver Stripe. In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about how Silver Stripe actually works and how you can add content to the site. If you haven't already installed Silver Stripe, feel free to check out my previous video. So without further delays, let's get into it. Opening your Silver Stripe site for the first time, you're going to see something similar to this. This is just Silver Stripe's default theme. To add content to this page, navigate to the admin panel, which is slash admin. When you arrive, you can see that the home page is in the site tree. Click on the home page and you will see that there is a live preview of the site and the corresponding fields are in the CMS. So if I want to change the title to home page, I can type it home page and click update. And if you save and publish the page, you can see that the title has changed. And you can do the same with the content field. These fields here are on the site tree object that every page extends from. So they will be on every page and you can customize this by extending the page object. Let's take a look at these in the code. If we look at the site tree object, you can see that all the fields on the CMS are actually defined in a private static DB array. And not all of these are fields some of them are used in the backend for other purposes, like sort and can view type. But we can see that the title and content are both here. These are defined in an associative array with the name as the key and the data type as the value. For a full list of supported data types by Silverstripe, you can visit the Silverstripe site and search data types. As you can see, it, it supports most of the common data types like boolean, currency, date, integers, and text, which is just a, a larger version of varchar um, and time. The special one here is the HTML text, which is uh, supposed to up to two megabytes of HTML, which can be rendered directly in the template. And all of these, as you might have guessed, will be created in the database under the site tree table as columns. So these are great, but you probably want more than just title and content on your page. So you're going to be wanting to create your own pages. To do that, navigate to public, my site, code, and in here you can create your own classes. I'm going to create a test page. And I'm just going to paste in some code this is just so you guys don't have to watch me type all of this out. What I've done here is I've created a class called test page, which extends page. And if you look at page, you can see that page extends site tree, which had all the fields that were already on the page. So page itself does not add anything additional to the site tree, but we will add uh, additional bottom area content to page and to have this field actually rendered as a HTML field um, we have to use the get CMS field function and to we have to load in all the other fields that were already on the page from parent and then we add in our HTML editor field which takes the name as the first parameter and the label what you want to call it. For a list of supporting CMS field types from Silverstripe, visit their site and search form field. And you should be able to see a list of supported film form fields um, like the checkbox field, the text area field, text field. Um, some interesting ones are a composite field where you can actually group fields into a composite field and they have a toggle composite field which is uh, better for UI where you can actually close them uh, kind of like a, an accordion. Um, the file fields um, like the uh, upload field which extends file field um, are available to use for uploading images and videos. You can declare the supported extensions on them and um, yeah, just a bunch of useful fields that you can use. And if 
these don't meet your needs, you can always extend one of them or extend the base form field class and create your own field. Back in the code, you'll see that this is pretty much all I've done for the test page. And I've also created an empty test page controller. And the purpose of it is because Superstrike uses MVC and the page, the test page acts as the model, whereas the controller, um, you can specify the actions that it can take and it can dispatch um, jobs that look up the model and returns to the view, which I will be getting on to next. How Server Stripe links the model view controller together is through the use of the class name. So to create the template for this page, we have to navigate to themes. Under the theme that you're using, which we're using the simple one from Silverstrike default install. And under templates, um, we can create a template called test page. And by giving it the same name as the class name, Silverstripe knows that that template will be used for this page. For me, I like to create my pages under layout. And I can give it a the same name called test page. Now, taking a look at the other default page, you can see that this is not quite HTML. This is because Silverstripe uses um, its own template language, which compiles this um, in PHP into raw HTML to be rendered. And what this template language allows you to do is to pull in variables directly from the class. So title here and content are pulling directly from the page class, in this case, the site treat object. So what we are going to do is we want to pull in the field that we created called bottom area content. So our page will look similar to the page, so we can copy most of it here. And let's just say we don't want the sidebar on our page and that we want the bottom area content to be below content, like so. And that's all we're going to do for this page. But before we can check out this page, we need to get Silverstripe to dev build the project so that the bottom area content can be written to the database. To do that, we go back to the project and type in dev build. And dev build is a special command that um, initiates the building process. This can take some time depending on how big your site is. And um, our site isn't that big, so it's that's it. And to create the page, we go to admin and click on add new. And you can see our page here, test page. So if we create that page and you can see that it's got the bottom area content, which we added. So if this is the content and this is the bottom area content, we can see that it gets displayed like expected from the template. So that covers the basics of how Silver Stripe works. Um, in this video, I've covered a, a basic workflow from creating your own data object to um, creating a matching template and rendering that content on your web page. So in the next video, I'm going to continue showing you guys how to create relationships and how you can render them in the template using loops and other useful syntax that Silverstrike template provides. And if I have time, I will also go over how you can create forms for your website and making use of the controller component of the MVC framework. Thank you guys for watching and look forward to seeing you in my next video.